Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Brandon Wynn and this is Critical Failure. So we're on the Arch Devils now, the most powerful of the Devils. Uh, not They're not all necessarily equally as strong, there are some weaker ones. These guys tend to be stronger than the fucking demon counterpart. So yeah, that's kind of impressive to me. But we are on Bale, I think that's how you say his name. Bale is fucking brutal, dude. Like, look at this guy. Let me try to... Look at that guy. That looks cool. All right, that that that, that just looks cool. But uh, let me see if I can find it. Dude, they all have like long ass uh, things. So Bale is a, is a duke for Mamon, and he has won fame and acclaim for his victories. Charged with leading sixty six companies of barbed devils. The Bale has proven to be a tactical genius, earning esteem for himself and his master as a result of victory after victory over the Abyssal Host. Mamon relies on Bale because of his battle acumen to safeguard his holdings. Mamon has never been ousted during a time where so many arch so many other arch devils have lost their positions, which is a testament to Bale's skill on the battlefield. For his accomplishments, as well as for the hue of his skin, Bale has been granted the title of Bronze General. His accolades, now with, now with, notwithstanding, his accolades notwithstanding, uh, Bale has had difficult time navigating the quagmire of infernal t politics. His critics called naive, Eve, though never to his face. Yeah, he fucking murdered them. His primary interest is leading soldiers into battle. So basically, he's a battle warrior. He doesn't really take place into like the politics and stuff like that as it just said he doesn't really care about that he'd rather just destroy you and he doesn't really spare his enemies oh no he'll gladly spare enemies of those he defeats but only if they pledge their souls of service that's what i was gonna say he really doesn't do it unless they pledge service uh although he is willing to corrupt almost any being in this way he almost always just he always destroys a demon he defeats so yeah he he does Unless you're willing to serve him, he doesn't really want you to live. And if you're a demon, you're just going to die anyway. Uh, I find it kind of BS. If you're a demon destroyed in the abyss, you come back to life. But if you're a devil destroyed in the nine hells, you're just dead. That finds... That, that's a BS. I don't like that. Uh, but heals, he hears sorry, uh, Bale's stats. Uh, he's a large fiend, devil, and a lawful evil. And he has an armor class of 18, it's plate armor, an average hit point of 189, 18d10 18 plus 90, and a walking speed of 30 feet. He has a strength of 24 plus 7, dexterity plus 17 plus 3, constitution 20 plus 5, intelligence 21 plus 5, wisdom 24 plus 7, and charisma 24 plus 7. His saving throws are dexterity plus 9, constitution plus 11, intelligence plus 11, and charisma plus 13. And he, his proficient skills are Intimidation, plus 13, Perception, plus 13, Persuasion, plus 13, and Damage Resistances to Cold, Bludgeoning, Piercing, and Slashing for non-magical weapons that aren't silvered. His damage immunities are Fire and Poisoned, and he can't be Charmed, Exhausted, Frightened, or Poisoned. And he has True Sight up to 120 feet and a Passive Perception of 23. He speaks all languages and has Telepathy up to 120 feet. And he's a Challenge Rating 19, 22,000 XP. His... Uh, his passive abilities, at least that's what I'm going to call them, are dreadful. Uh, Bale can use a bonus action to appear dreadful until the start of his next turn. Each creature, other than a devil that starts its turn within 10 feet of Bale, must succeed on a DC 22 wisdom saving throw or be frightened until the start of the creature's next turn. See, that's where that, like, uh, Blood Hunter ability where you can't be frightened really works. You're just sitting there like, really? I've seen worse. <laughs> Bale, pathetic. Uh, but innate spell casting. Bale's innate spellcasting ability is char uh, Charisma. It's a spell save DC of 21 at plus 13 to hit with spell attacks. It can innately s cast a following spells requiring no material components. I don't use them in the first place. Uh, at will, he can cast Alter Self, become a medium when changing his appearance. Animate dead, charm person, detect magic, inflict wounds as an 8th level spell. Invisibility on himself only and major image. Uh, three times a day, he can cast Counter Spell, Dispel Magic. Fly, Suggestion, and Wall of Fire, and once a day he can cast Dominate Monster and Symbol, the, uh, the stunning one only. And he has Legendary Resistance, used three times a day, so if he fails the saving throw, he can pass it anyways. 
magic resistant as a magic weapon, so he has advantage on saving throws against web, uh, magic and other spell effects. And every melee weapon attack he uses is considered magical. And regeneration, Bale regains 20 hit points at the start of his turn. If he takes cold or radiant damage, the trait doesn't function at the start of his next turn. Bale dies if he starts his turn with zero hit points and doesn't regenerate. So you've got to basically hit the bitch with cold or radiant until he dies. His multi-attack, he makes two melee weapon attacks. His hellish morning star. It's a plus 13 to hit, reach at 20 feet. Oh, one target only, 16 average, but 2d8 plus 7 piercing damage, plus 13 3d8 necrotic damage. Infernal Command, each alley, alley, really, I said alley, each ally of Bales within 60 feet of him can't be charmed or frightened until the end of his next turn, uh, and then teleport. Bale magically teleports along with his any, any equipment he has uh, up to 120 feet to an unoccupied space he can see, and he has legendary actions, he has three. He can attack, which costs two actions, he attacks with his Hellish Morningstar, he has Awakened Greed, which casts Charm Person Major Image. Infernal Command uses an Infernal Command and teleports, as we already know. And that is Bale. Next, we have Gurion. I think that's his name. That's weird. I honestly thought that was Mamon for a while. But no, nah, he's Snakey Boy. But yeah, that is Bale. The severely terrifying, in my opinion, fucking Arch... Not Archduke. Duke for Mamon. So yeah, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Uh... Please leave a like and subscribe to my channel as I bring you more D&D content in the future. We're getting this directly from Mordecai and Stone of Foes. So thank you guys uh, for bearing with me as I haven't done really many videos these past few days. But I do appreciate it. Peace.